Hello, fellow TTMers, and welcome to Rick's Cards and another episode of TTMing, where we send out uh, our favorite celebrities and baseball players, football players, golfers, and so forth, and um, send them a self addressed stamped envelope, and hopefully they sign our cards or photos or whatever we send them, and we report back to you here on this channel. At least I do, and I know my other fellow TTMers do also. It's a great community, and um, I just made a lot of friends so far. I've been doing this now for two years, and we are now at episode 42 of uh, my YouTube channel here. So let's get started. we got a lot of mail today, and the first one's a bad one. It's a, uh, coming out of uh, San Bernardino, California, and it is from uh, Don Ossie. And Mr. Ossie sent back my cards, all three of them, and he does not sign anymore. He's been overwhelmed, so he's decided not to do it anymore, and maybe sign just once once a year, probably at a, a private signing. So I did get his autograph on that uh, letter that he sent, and here it is if you want to read it, but a lot of you out there has already got this letter like I have got to today, so... Thank you, Mr. Ossie, for sending my cards back. Okay, our first good TTM return coming out of Abilene, Texas. And it is a 404, and it is a golfer. I love these golfers. They're, they're, they're very generous with their autograph. And this is Charles Cootie. Signed it beautifully there in a thin Sharpie. He signed this uh, 90 um, Pro Set for me. And he also signed my blank autograph card. And he signed also two index cards. One he signed his name and the other a best wishes. Best wishes. Mm, Mr. Charles Goody. Thank you for your autograph, sir. That took 10 days. Very fast. Okay, the next one. I sent out a lot of Olympic cards since we're here. The Olympics coming up here in a week or so. And so this one's coming out of Portland, Oregon. And uh, it is a five of five. And I was very happy to get this because this this guy um, also is a former Laker. And I uh, it was during the time when I just watched basketball. Let's put it that way. That's when basketball players were basketball players. And I knew all the players back then in the 70s, 80s or so. And this is uh, Mel Counts. I got his Olympic card. Here he is. He was a great outside shooter for a seven-footer. Are you kidding me? He was a backup to Wilt Chamberlain there on the Lakers. He signed this for me, and he also signed the team card. This is from the um, 64 Olympics. It took 14 days for him to send it back to me. And he also signed three index cards where he put Rick May God bless you and your family. Mel Counts. And I don't even know if I said his name. Anyway, he also signed this index card and another index card. So thank you, Mr. Mel Counts. You were a class act when you played, and you still are. So I appreciate your autograph. Our next one, another Olympic uh, basketball player coming out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And it's coming from the same team. It took eight days. I don't know if I said it or not. Mel Counts, he took uh, 14 days. This is uh, Joe Caldwell. Signed this uh, Olympic card, 90 Olympic card that I got a set of. He signed that in gold. Looks beautiful. There he is going up for a shot. And also signing this one also in gold. And he's uh, dribbling in. On the card here, beautiful, from the 64 Olympic team, Mr. Joe Caldwell. All right, we'll go back to baseball now, and we've got a return from Baltimore, Maryland. And this is a two of two, took 31 days. It's a player by the name of Tony Saunders. Mr. Saunders, signed in black Sharpie there on black, which... You can see it a little better in person. He signed two of these uh, 98 Tops Chrome. So the cup card there. 
can see it now. There you go, a little bit better. So, Mr. Tony Saunders, thank you very much, sir, for your autograph. Okay, the next one. I got a little greedy on this one. I haven't sent to him in over a year, and it's coming from uh, uh, Brockton, Massachusetts. It's a six of six. I never send six cards. I'm not quite sure why I did this time, but it took eight days. He signed them all, and it is none other than Richie Hebner. Mr. Hebner signed this um, 81 Fleer. Shout out to Johnny Serena trying to set this or can complete this set. If you need this one, Johnny, let me know. I'll trade for it. I'll trade you for it. He also, this is one I didn't think he signed because it's very hard to see there on his jacket. He signed it in a black thin Sharpie. Uh, this, um, let me look at that. Uh, it's a 70, um, 78 tops. And he signed this. Oh, well, this is the 78 tops. The other was a 77. That looks very good signature. He also signed the 84 tops. His signature looks good. He also signed this um, 81. And this 71. So thank you, Mr. Richie Hebner. I'm sorry I sent so many, but I appreciate your generosity in signing all of them for me in eight days. Okay, the next one comes out of... Santa Ana, California. This is a two of two. It took 31 days. And he is a, a three cards for $5. I only sent him two cards and sent him $5. But I really wanted this card signed. And you can see why. Mr. Doug DeSenses signed that in 31 days. Beautiful signature. Really pops on that cardinal uniform. And he also signed this 87 tops for me. Here he is with the Angels. And uh, thank you, Mr. DeCenzes. Okay, our next one's another Olympic man. Olympic man. <laughs> Olympic athlete. Coming out of Nashville, Tennessee. And it is a three of three. Took 11 days. And it is from Scott Hamilton. Signed this 90 Olympic Hall of Fame card for me. Really big blue Sharpie signature. He's now an announcer for NBC with the Olympics, so I wasn't sure if he was going to get that or not. I thought he might be out of town. He signed that, and he also signed two index cards for me. So thank you, Mr. Scott Hamill. I checked that. Did he? Yeah, he did. He signed a third one. So he signed three index cards. I, must have, I usually only send two index cards. This one must have been stuck together, and he, by George, he signed it. So thank you, Mr. Scott Hamilton. That took 11 days. Our next one, and then we're going to have a blind trade. If you stick around for that, there'll be prizes. <laughs> no, not really. I don't have any prizes. <laughs> no. Our next one's coming out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Just stick around. You'll, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Is from... Miss Natalie Decker, a 4 of 4 in 51 days. Miss Decker is a truck NASCAR driver. And she did the cutie pie. She signed that photo for me. She also signed her truck photo. It's kind of just a Natalie type of signature up there, but I'll take it. She also signed... This beautiful, and yeah, the truck's beautiful too, uh, photo uh, here for me. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I know, dirty old man. And here's here she is, uh, another photo, a rated rookie Donruss that I blew up. And uh, again, thank you, Miss Natalie Decker, for your time signing my photos. Took her 51 days. Okay, we had a blind trade coming from, well, it's Knoxville, Tennessee. That means it's Johnny Serena. And I already sent his cards to him, and I believe he did it on his video already. I, I forget what I sent him, but 
Anyway, there he is. He sent me a autographed card of Johnny Serena. Oh, that's going to go. I'm going to have to maybe send that off to get that uh, authenticated. Uh, make sure that autograph's real. But yeah, a Johnny Serena autograph. Are you kidding me? Thank you for that one. And he also sent me a Steve Comer, a Doug Rader, a Fred Stanley, a George Mitterwall, a Charles Nagy, and a Gary Bell. Mr. Serena, you hit it out of the ballpark. I need all those. So I thank you, sir. And I hope the cards I sent you, you need too. And that's going to do it for this episode. And uh, we're going to have another episode probably um, very shortly. Um, I had to divide this up. I had uh, so many returns here that uh, I couldn't believe I had such a big mail day today. So anyway, until then, always hustle. You never know who's watching. Bye. <laughs>